Hey guys, Rich here. Welcome back to the RC Informer YouTube channel. I got Adam Hampton helping me film again. We're at CEF 2021. And I have the Banana Hobby 1100 millimeter P40N Flying Tiger. I've been sort of beat this up. It's brand new. I flew it yesterday for the first time, but it's been, I did a, a land flying with a flight the other day with it. I, I tore my pedo tube off. <laughs> so it's out there in the grass somewhere. And the two antennas that are here, I just didn't glue on because I'm always tearing them off. And I banged this into a few things transporting it, but it's a great flying airplane. And that's what I'm going to show you guys today. Fit and finish was real nice. We did an unbox video of uh, this airplane. I think along with the T28 we did, but it's all plugged in and ready to go. There's your retracts, work real nice. And we have a magnetic bomb drop. I have that on the bind button. So when you press that, we drop that. Adam, if I forget, say, hey, drop the bomb. Okay. And I'll remember Will to do, do it. So, um, but it's real nice, three bladed, -bladed scale prop. Um, if you can zoom in here, Adam, it's got real nice ball links. Okay, all the way around. Um, you notice I use the second to innermost hole for the ailerons. Can you get on that okay? Yeah, I've got that. Okay, because otherwise the controls are way too sensitive. You can probably go out a hole or two, so I got some high, medium, and low rates on everything, but it seemed like if you go way out on the end, you got too much control throw. Um, and then it has a really nice mechanism here to make sure my safety's off. This, uh, your rudder is hooked up here. And it has a real nice Allen screw adjustment here for your tail wheel, so you can center that. So, and then your tail wheel itself, put a little foam tack on your E-ring there, so you don't lose it. And uh, good cooling holes here. You assemble this with two screws on this side, two screws on the other side with a spar. And then the underside of the airplane, you've got two screws here and two screws here. They're self-tapping and that gets your wing on. And that's it, you, pro you put your prop and spinner on and you're done. Actually, this glues on too. This has a nice setup, this cowl flap, where you glue it to the wing. So when you take the wing off, it takes that cowl flap with it. So um, flaps work real nice, little extension on those. But you don't really need them on this. This plane does have a tendency, the grass is very thick out here. On my home field, it would be better, but there's thick grass out here. So this plane does tend to, to nose over a bit. So really nice airplane, folks. Let me uh, give it a little gas here. It's nice and powerful. I'll use high rates to start. You want to have a high elevator rate to taxi out on. That's my high elevator rate, not too much there. But uh, So let's go right, left, up, down, left, right. No stabilizer in this. All right, you ready to rock? Yes, sir. All right, here we go. Let's get it out. Let's see if we can taxi out here in this, uh, this thick grass. Here. It's, it's like taxing. Yeah, see, it's like taxing this grass. It's like taxing on, um, on a sponge or something. So... But if you can keep it going, get it into the wind. Take it off! Get it up on those wheels. Yeah, it goes up nice. Gears up. Let's go straight up. Look at that thing go. Yeehaw! You got that okay? I got her. All right. I'm going to bring it on down now that you can't see it. <laughs> Let me see if I can bring it in a little closer. There we go. I'll come by kind of slow here. There we go. Little crosswind there. It's very windy out here, folks, but you getting that okay? Yep. All right, awesome. Yeah, that's the roll rate on high rate, you know, in full speed there. So with that second hole on the inner hole, so I did the same on the elevator in case you guys want to know. The elevator, which is the servo, that elevator servo is in, in the, you have to take the wing off to see it. So you got to go on the second hole on that too, or you've got too much. Sorry, I'm going to the sun for you, my bad. I got you. Let's go. All right, let me bring it into the middle. Actually, let me go fast. Let me do a fast pass here. You ready? Ready. Power's coming in. That's into the wind. Yeah, that cooks right along. That's on the downwind. We're going into the wind here, folks, uh, in this direction. So I'll come by fast again. Steep turn it. Yeah, that thing moves. That hauls, doesn't it? You can fly it on 3S, but I'm flying it on a 4S 2200 uh, Spectrum Pack, so. Yeah, she'll carry the mail. Yeah, I mean, it goes up there. I mean, it's it's a sporty little model. So let me drop some landing gear. And let me see if I can do a touch and go out front. We'll do a bomb drop with it too here, so. Right. Let's see here. Try to get some, leave some power in, just to kind of ease it on down. There we go. It's a nice touch and go. 
The gear doesn't is rigid. It doesn't really have any suspension, but it, it handles the grass okay as long as it's not too uh, too tough or too uh, too thick. So, all right, I have full flaps in here. I'm going to try and bring as slow as I can by the camera here, and I'll drop the bomb right out front. You ready? Got it. There it is. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah, it's this is just a fun bird. Point roll it. I mean, it's it's a it's a sporty model. It is cool. I'm gonna try and give you a downwind high speed pass. I'll come in this way. I'm gonna come the other way. I'm gonna turn it around here because it'll really go scorching by this way. Yeah, I got a little close to the line back there. My fault. If somebody comes and yells at me. I'll understand why. I drop the flaps again, and there we go. Very cool airplane. Beautiful speed has a, on it. Has a wide speed range. Yeah, you can see when I added power, it torqued off to the left. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, it's time to buzz the tower. Let's see. Can go all the way down to the end of the... Coming hot. Yeah, this is fun. All right, we will bring it in. All right, gear's coming down. I'm just going to land it out front. I'm going to do no flaps because the more flaps you use, the greater chance you got to nose in this thing over. So, oops, that's a little harder than I wanted to. Back on the stick. There we go. All right, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, with the flaps, it really has a tendency to flip over. Look at the wheels and the grass. You see how the wheels are like halfway buried? Yeah. That's this field. It's just got a thick nap of grass. I mean, it's uh, it's it's just, so most fields and runways, you're not going to have any problem with this thing. So, let me. I almost landed on my bomb here. So, you can set this up on any switch or anything you want to. Um, the way I did mine, let me hit my safety. Is uh, I put mine on my bind button. So when I press my bind button. That just reverses the magnet polarity and, and drops it, or it rotates the, the magnet so the reverse polarity is there. But what do you think, man? Pretty cool? That's very cool. It's a nice model. The guy's 1100 millimeter, 3 to 4S powered, uh, P40N model, Flying Tiger. Check it out at Banana Hobby. I'll try to put the links in the description down below so you guys can get one through there. Adam, thank you for filming. Guys, come to Ceph. We're here, 2021, it's only Tuesday, and we got more stuff to fly. Thanks for filming again, Adam, and guys, as always, we'll see y'all next time.